Well, good day, folks, and welcome to another edition of Lumberjack Logic. I'm your host, Neil Johnson. Excited to share this report with you. So I don't know if you guys are, you know, so I'm sure most of you are probably aware at this point. It's finally getting out there. There was kind of a media blackout on this story, but now it appears that the blackout's starting to be unbroken. So we've got this out of the Toronto Sun. The Freedom Truckers may form the world's largest convoy, but... Uh, Justin Trudeau says they're a fringe movement and it doesn't really represent the views of most Canadians. So I'm going to share his little speech interposed with just a few clips from the convoy, just so you can see the size of the convoy and what Trudeau has to say and that type of thing. So I'll just share that with you quick and then we'll uh, come back to a little bit more news on this. The small fringe minority. <laughs> of people who are on their way to Ottawa or who are uh, holding unacceptable uh, views uh, that they're expressing do not represent the views of Canadians who have been there for each other. <laughs> who know that following the science and stepping up to protect each other is the best way to continue to ensure our freedoms, our rights, our values as a country. Next question. So it's an impressive convoy, but here's the thing. According to Guinness World Records, the longest truck convoy ever recorded was seven and a half kilometers long in Egypt in 2020, this out of the Toronto Sun. Currently, the convoy in Canada is 70 kilometers long, says Benjamin Dichter, spokesman for the Freedom Convoy 2020. And he says he's even got some footage uh, from an airplane, and he's seen it all. He says it's really impressive. By, but by Wednesday, truckers hope to have taken their protests through to Manitoba and will make it to southern Ontario on Friday. Now, with a convoy being this big and this much going on, you would just think this would be kind of all over the news. I'm I'm quite certain. Maybe they just missed it. Um, maybe they're, uh, maybe the news outlets just weren't aware. I mean, because, I mean, we saw the, the BLM protests and Antifa protests, which were, uh, you know, I, much more violent, I would say. Wouldn't you say this more violent? I, I, they had nonstop coverage. So, I mean, I'm assuming they just don't know yet, right? I, they must not just, I don't know what else it'd be. Anyways, please, plans call for the convoy to arrive in Ottawa on Saturday for a protest. If it gets there in time, and if the convoy holds together as it has in British Columbia, Alberta, and Saskatchewan, it could be 10 times larger than the world record. Because more trucks are going to join this convoy. Okay, The largest parade of trucks consisted of 480 trucks and is achieved by Tahai Mizar Fund in Egypt, in Cairo, Egypt, on 20th of November 2020, Guinness says on its website. With a length of seven and a half kilometers, Tahai Mizar Fund was able to organize a parade of 480 trucks amid the harsh weather and heavy rain, breaking the Guinness World Records title for the largest parade of trucks, which was achieved 16 years ago in the Netherlands with 416 uh, trucks. So here's the thing. I mean, they're talking about cold in Egypt. Man, you ain't experienced cold till you go up to Canada. Look, I live just south of the border. Okay, I'm way up northern Minnesota, and it's been cold. Like, how cold, you ask? Well, we wake up to 24 below, 30 below. Today, it's mild. It's pretty warm out there. It's, it's up to 20 degrees, man. We're like in a heat wave. It's on a heat wave. I'm serious. It's hot. It's hot, man. I mean, I tell you what, I got to walk around in my shorts. It's so hot out there. It's just nuts. Anyhow, there's a little wind, though. It gives it a little bit of nip. But anyhow... These are the estimate. There are estimates that the convoy could comprise 50,000 trucks from the West, East, and even from the United States. It's difficult to speculate what will transpire in the days ahead. But as it's getting, I mean, I saw the Hill reporting on this. Uh, now we've got the Toronto Sun. So it's getting out there more and more. It looks like Ottawa could be swamped with long-haul truckers on January 29th, but with the winter weather and potential issues, including possible roadblocks or traffic snarls, time will tell. Yes, I'm sure uh, Trudeau doesn't want that kind of happening, right? So whatever happens, it won't be for lack of support. Now, this is where the story gets really interesting. Thousands of Canadians have lined the route, cheered from overpasses, and offered to feed drivers in their homes and restaurants. It's a grassroots demonstration that has become far bigger than anything the organizers had ever envisioned. 
With that comes problems. Media reports said a GoFundMe campaign of the convoy, which had surpassed $5 million by Wednesday morning, had been frozen by GoFundMe. Now, you guys have heard this, but here's the thing. Fake news, said Diekter. This is the organizer of the rally, whose name, along with Tamara Leek, is listed as the organizer. It's not true, he says. It hasn't been frozen. GoFundMe spokesman Rachel Hollis told the Toronto Sun, we are continuing to work directly with the organizer to gather information about how funds are being distributed. This is part of our standard process to ensure the protection of all donors. And once a withdrawal plan is approved by the organizer, our team is on standby to safely and quickly deliver the funds. Well, let's just be real here. It's no wonder people would have suspicions about GoFundMe, okay? You can always use Give, Send, Go. Give, Send, Go. Give, Send, Go as, a, as an alternative to... You know the other one because they're they're just a little bit more kind shall we say to conservatives we have seen uh gofundme uh consistently like with the kyle rittenhouse case and so on you guys know that organizers have said the raised money far more than they ever anticipated is to help truckers with fuel lodging and food costs listen to this though this is where it gets good but this has never been about the money said deekter who added with or without it, the convoy will roll forward. Dichter said he and Leek are the only two speaking on behalf of the Freedom Convoy. So when social media posts talk of, you know, violence and all that kind of nonsense, he said it will be clear such agitators or saboteurs are not involved in organizing their peaceful law-abiding demonstration. They must have some feds up there in Canada too, huh? <laughs> Anyways, the protest, Dieter said, is about lifting mandates for truckers at the Canadian-U.S. border and other issues relating to the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms, including forcing drivers to wear face coverings. In what? Why would you wear face coverings in trucks? By the way, I've got an interesting video here I want you just to watch. I think this guy needs to size up his face covering. <laughs> just, it's good. Just watch it. Anglia, krajská hygienická stanice udělala prostě standardní dělá šetření, epidemiologické šetření na místě, které zjistí, kde je problém. A pak ty opatření sílí na tom problém. Konkrétní problémy, které jsou, aby se řešili. A to... Again, out of the Toronto Sun, for the public, the convoy has become a beacon of hope that overreaching lockdowns, restrictions, and mandates will soon come to an end. However, the Liberal government is standing firm, okay? As you've seen before with Trudeau, but also the government of Canada and the Canadian Trucking Alliance have uh, both agreed that, uh, you know, these, these mandates are the thing. So this is the very organization that's supposed to represent the truckers. Um, look, it, it's a world record. It's big news, okay? And it's great to see people who are united in a cause doing it peacefully, unlike we saw with the mostly peaceful protests, right? With the burnings, the buildings burning in the background. So please share this video out there. Uh, this is important that this story gets out. And uh, while you're at it, hit that subscribe button. And uh, if you get a chance and you need some pillows, go to mypillow.com, use promo code Lumberjack. You can save up to 66%. And actually right now, the biggest sale of the year is going on. It's half off the slippers. It's half off the the um uh the mattress topper uh, and it's 60 percent off those giza dream sheets i am telling you they are the best sheets they oh like you get in there they're warm they're soft they're just luxurious i love them the best sleep products are over at mypillow.com promo code lumberjack will get you big savings thanks so much for listening thanks so much for your support i love y'all peace out